that I think can win the game. I don't think there's enough experience in the team. Okay. Right. Well, we'll find out shortly. Uh, we've an FA Cup winners only policy in the studio tonight. And I don't know who's making that noise, but so Alan Shearer is on the commentary gantry alongside um, Steve Bauer. Um, Alan, um, it's toasty in this studio. It's a bit noisy as well. I don't know if somebody's sending something on someone's phone. I think it's, it's a joke. I don't know whether you heard it at home, but um, uh, how's it on the gantry? A bit chilly? Yeah, it's, um, it's very cold. My ears are cold, so yours will be freezing up here, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what do you see in this game tonight, Alan? How do you see it going? Well, Wolves will feel very hard done by because they felt they scored a legitimate goal and they should have been through to the next round. They'll want to try and, uh, and rectify that tonight. Um, he's put a similar team out to that game, a couple of changes from from that first game so they'll be confident they'll go at Liverpool they know that um, even though Liverpool have changed their team around confidence in the football club in Liverpool is not great so I think Wolves will go after them Are you surprised that the changes Klopp's made um, Alan as well as Danny? Yeah I am I'm, uh, I'm really surprised because um, as a player you want to put things right they had a terrible game at the, uh, at the weekend those players that played will know that they would have wanted to get out uh, th this evening and uh, and change that, but he's changed it, he's put some youngsters in there, it's a chance, he needed some energy, and they've got to bring energy to this team and to that football club, because that's the one thing they've been missing, certainly at the weekend anyway. OK, Alan, um, keep warm up there as, as much as you can. And it seems to be working at the moment. Will you stop making those noises, Danny? It's not, mate. <laughs> it's definitely they've been more attacking Wolves, actually. Oh, they yeah. have. They've, they've <clears> taken yeah. more risks. I mean, the jury's still out a little bit, because they, they were a bit lucky at Evan. Uh, Leon Bailey missed the last-minute chance at Villa. Um, and they did lose to Forest in the yeah. League Cup. So. I mean, he's managed some big clubs, this guy. Obviously, he had oh, the he's... old scandal around when he was at the, the Spanish manager. He announced that he was going to Real Madrid. And since then, it's not been quite as successful. But he's obviously Europa League, he won with... I think he's very single-minded in what he wants. Yeah. He's not going to deviate. He's, he's experienced enough to know, look, I'm not gonna, he's not going to be swayed by the odd bad result. He's going to stay focused on what he wants. And I, I think it's quite fortunate, in a way, for Wolves, because... They actually went for Michael Bill, and I went to Lopetegui first. Yeah. Because of personal reasons, he didn't take the job. And actually went for Michael Bill. Yeah. He actually turned it down. So it's kind of fell in Wolves' lap, to, yeah. to be honest. Uh, you, uh, you came in mm. at, at Reading, didn't you? Mm -hmm. you, you? You kept them up last season, did a brilliant job there. How difficult is it to keep that going and build on momentum as a manager? Well, I think it's tough because, um, especially with us, we've got, an, we've got an embargo at our club, so it's hard to build and hard to bring in other players. But if you look at Lop Lopetegui, done, he's brought some really good top class players. You know, they're playing, as Danny Murphy said, they're playing some really good attacking football. And it's always hard to keep doing it year after year after year, as we're seeing with Liverpool at the moment. You know, it's hard to keep doing it, keep doing it. As, as for Liverpool, what, what, what's missing this season, Danny? I think the beginning of the season there was some complacency set in. A lot of the players haven't had any competition for their places for a long time. I think the they were tired a little bit from the, like, the season before, played in every game available the season before. Mental disappointment of missing out on Champions League and the league to City. And then I think you lose some confidence when you lose games. 